Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to the Lumberjacks Dynasty. Uh, just picking a couple of apples right now because I got not much, don't have much for food, uh, and I'm getting kind of tired. But it's also in the afternoon. Usually I start recording in the morning, but uh, there's a couple of things I want to do in this episode. Uh, go meet some people, and uh, apparently, from what I've seen from watching, I believe Dre play. If we go meet, uh, I believe Lily, we might get a trailer from there for the the wood chips. So we can start making some money. We got about you know a few grand sitting there. It could be money we could use to start going. I also want to look at eventually buying another forest. But you know people might have trees they want cut down for free and pay us to do it. Well, technically free wood, but yeah, pay us to cut down trees so we don't have to actually buy the land to get the trees and make more money off of it. Uh, I do have planks in the dryer still. They're about 90%. I was going to eventually move them around. I might do them later, but I actually want to go check out these seedlings here first, see what this is all about first. So let's see here. Uh, what shall we try to grow? Let's go with zucchini because we have so much. All right. Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, now... How does this work? Do I have to water this, or... Or what? Oh, it costs money. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry about the mouse, I gotta adjust my sensitivity again. Alright, uh... Uh... Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, how do I put stuff away? I don't. Uh, excuse me a second. Okay, never mind. Uh, the prompt of the zucchini seedlings actually goes away after I leave. Uh, I really don't want to plant all of them. Maybe just because we'll do four of them. Uh, and then we'll just walk away. Apparently I don't actually have them in my inventory. I'm just accessing them from the storage. And then uh, we'll go ahead and water this for... Oh, okay. There's a gauge there. So I gotta water it. So we're definitely gonna need money. It's just, look at this. It's costing me a euro a second. Okay. Uh, we'll just bring it up to comfort level and keep it there. Uh, I'm gonna definitely have to keep an eye on that. I love the water effect on my face. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I want to check that out and check out first. Uh, yeah, it's about 4.30. Uh, I'm gonna take care of myself and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I am back, and it is another fine, beautiful morning in this lovely little town of ours. I remember seeing the name of it somewhere. I can't remember what it was, to be honest, but eh, uh, whatever. It's not the big city. That's all that matters. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, actually. I decided to do a little bit of work. I moved the planks around to organize them a little bit. I'm going to try to group the planks in batches of cutting. So the five planks that we have there are going to be in the two dryers on the far right. Uh, any planks I add next are going to go in their own dryer starting from there just so I can keep them organized so I know what can be sold when. Uh, let's actually go check on the zucchinis here. Uh, let's see what else. But yeah, I took care of that and then uh, sat down, watched a little bit of TV, played a few games and usual stuff. Oh wow, that really goes down. I hope we get a lot of money out of these things. It's a little late now. I probably should have planted them all, but you know what I mean? I don't want to lose all my seeds. Does it stop automatically? I think it does. I didn't actually stop that. It just stopped as soon as it hit the blue. Anyway, uh, we got to go. Let's actually go pay Lily a visit. Uh, that's where we're going to go. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Where are you? Mysterious herbalist. Go here, go check her out. I'm gonna take the truck because the truck is a hell of a lot faster than that forklift. Or the pickup truck. And I mean, I'm gonna take the big truck, the nice big 24,000 euro uh, flat deck we bought. We're here to work. Yeah, I was coming over to the mill and I saw the <laughs> smoke and I was like, oh my god, the mill's on fire. And I remembered, oh yeah, I got the, the dryer in there. Look at that. You can actually see the heat coming off the dryer in ovens. That's cool. I don't know if it's showing up in the video or not. But you can see that, those, those heat waves. Anyway, enough rambling. Let me hit the road and I'll see you there. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah, I gotta admit, some of the scenery they have in the games is just incredible. You know, we're actually gonna be there pretty quick. Might as well enjoy the view while we're at it. Get a nice, good look at my rear end here. 
But Lily is just up here, and we're actually driving at a decent speed compared to the track that we've been booting around in. The hell was that? I hit a ghost. Uh, yeah. Uh, which way is it? This way? Yeah, I gotta go this way. Uh, why can't I? No, I can't. Oh, I wish I'd saw that. Huh, I guess I gotta go the other way around, so I'll meet you there. Okay, we are coming up to Louise's place. I also noticed too on the map there's a few more people missing sheep. That seems to be a bit of a thing going on around here. Oh god, I hope we don't want to be cutting the grass. It'll take forever. Anyway, let's go see what Lily has to say. Uh, I think she had the trailer. Somebody has got, somebody's got a trailer. We'll find that trailer somewhere. Anyway, what do you have? Hello. Well, yes. I'm looking for Mrs. Lily. Apparently she's a herbalist, supposed to live somewhere around here. Do you know where she might be? Actually, I am Lily, and I am indeed a herbalist. Who are you? You are Lily? Well, I must admit, when Aunt Grace sent me here to see a herbalist, I was expecting someone else. <laughs> Let me guess. An old witch with a black cat and an old goat? No, a dungeon hunter. A, dun a dragon hunter. If anything, I should be sorry. Nice to meet you, Lily. Are you okay? You live here all alone? My Aunt Grace was kind of worried. Well, yes, I do. I graduated in botany and natural medicine last year and moved back here to live with my father. Unfortunately, he passed away shortly after that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Really. Can I help you with anything? That's so sweet of you. I am kind of busy, actually. I make potions. Herbal, elixirs, natural cosmetics. I could always use some help. But I have only just started selling these online, so the business is not exactly booming yet. I'm keen to help any way I can. I don't expect much payment. If there's any way I can help, just ask. Okay. Well, for starters, I need some mushrooms. I Which bet you do. From a nearby hotel. Magic mushrooms, not right? Had time to go and pick them. Could you do that for me, please? I would, but I... I know nothing about mushrooms. Don't worry. Fire. I can teach you how to pick the right ones. Forest mushrooms are the best. You just have to pick the right ones. So, will you help me? Well, I wouldn't say with pleasure, but sure. With pleasure. <laughs> well, at least my camera angle is a little more uh, friendly than Dre's. Uh, so I gotta go pick up some mushrooms. I need to pick up a lot of them. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Interesting. I didn't really notice them right away and I was using my engineer site in the show up. But look at that, they pulse colors. You can't tell me those aren't psychedelic. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta go grab fifty of these things. Think we can think we can sample them? One mushroom. Forty nine to go. Huh, interesting. I might have to go foraging more often. I found strawberries. But we're not here for strawberries, we're free for mushrooms. Okay, down to the last one. Uh, it's kind of hard to find these things, but when you find them, they're in usually like big clumps. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel back to my truck. Hop out. I said hop out. And let's go see Lily again. I was going to say visit Lily, but same thing. We know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't Did know if I do. the mushrooms I need? Yes. I think these mushrooms will be fine. Great. I am impressed. Here's the little something I promised you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Come and visit me anytime. I'll be glad to see you. I may have other tasks. Such great voice acting. I'm glad you taught me something about mushrooms. Can you teach me anything else? Sure. I know a lot about herbs and other plants, but I need to prepare these mushrooms first. But please, do come back later. Will do. Yes, and I got honey. I heard uh, you're famous for your refreshing herbal potions. Well, I used to sell a lot of them. Didn't give me much time there. All that traveling from store to store was too strenuous for me. That's why I'm trying to sell online now. Well, is it too much to ask if you could teach me how to make these? Yeah, so I can make my own beehives and make my own. No. Maybe if you promise not to sell them online. Promise. I might sell them as well, but I won't interfere with your business. No, nope. I'll all just right, set up a big right. giant. Franchise and market all over the world. Well, 
What is it? You see, a year ago, I bought some materials so my dad could rebuild the house. Ah, <sighs> of course. Build it, huh? I'm a little behind already. Not that I'm in real trouble yet, but I would like to get rid of that debt. Not sure if I can help you with this, but I can try. Who do I need to convince? Would you do it for me? Talk to James. I hope he can at least delay the payment slightly. Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay, where is James? Where is James? All the way to the other end of the map, huh? Uh, nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay, where is James? James is nowhere to be found. No, he's all the way over there. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll go, uh, we'll see James. Okay, here we are. I uh, probably could have driven down here. I didn't really see any road, but let's go talk to James, shall we? Go talk about Lily's debt. No, we won't do that. James, what do you got to say? I to talk to you about Lily. I heard she owes you some money. That is right. Why? I was wondering if I could help her. Well, I can't afford to pay her debt directly. But maybe there's a way for you to extend the loan? I don't know. I've been waiting for my money for a year already. Plus, I have my own issues to take care of. I simply cannot afford charity. But why don't you work for me? If you help me... Uh, of course, I saw that when I saw the building frames. You could even earn some money for yourself. What do you think? What exactly would I be doing? I'm in the tourist business offering vacation cabins. I have many jobs to offer. But not enough workers. I could use your help. Uh, I knew it. Cabins. I'm interested. Where's the catch? Unfortunately, I have more customers with payment delays like Lily, so I cannot really afford to buy building materials. Including <sighs> the old lumber mill, you could produce your own, right? Okay, I get it. You have me repairing your cabins with my own building materials, and in exchange, Lily's debt is taken care of, right? But what's in it for me? I am offering you a sustainable business opportunity. Complete the first job, and Lily's debt is gone. Then, we are partners, and I will be paying you for your help and materials on every order. Deal? Hmm. <sighs> Where am I getting the trees from? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Honestly? I think we might have to think about I that one. Think about it. Because right now I don't have any wood. That means I have to actually buy a forest. And unfortunately, forests are not cheap. Like, uh, let's see if we can get one around here. Where are we? Oh, we're not even close to one here. I won't find out how much it is until I get close to it. But yeah, that's uh, a few thousand euro. And uh, that's about all I have. So we will come back to James. Uh, I wish I would have had the trailer. I don't know which one it was. It wasn't really paying attention. Usually when I'm watching YouTube, I'm doing something else. I'm sort of half-assed. But let's, uh, since we're here, maybe we'll go check up Connor. See what he's up to. I went to go get in the truck and I realized this was in my truck. And here we are. So this is Connor. There's the wood chip trailer. Yes, like I said, I wasn't paying attention to who he actually visited. Uh, I just didn't know that... It, he might have had a little bit too much happy hour when he recorded his video, like he always does. Anyway. Hello, lad. And who might you be? I'm kind of new around. Are you Ringo Starr? Settle down like old Connor here. I'm not sure no. yet. Truth be told, I'm looking after my uncle's lumber mill. Could use some tools, vehicles, all sorts of stuff. Oh, I see. I'm new here too. Just bought this farm. Used to own some fields before. Kept it's animals, me. harvested wheat. Oh my God. He's a mannequin. He's a puppet. Marionette. Oh, he's talking. So I sold the land and moved up here. The air is just so crisp. Did you feel it? And that trailer over there? Yep, I brought it with me. Not much use to me now. Don't think I'll be transporting wheat anytime soon. So it's just rusting away. Dude, so broken, man. Too much partying. Well, neither, actually. I was thinking more about offering you help of some sort. You see, I'm pretty handy with tools. So that's you the really case. That? Right. Just look around. Plenty of work over here. Fix those buildings for me, and the trail is yours. We may even give you something extra if you're quick. What do you think? It was just like Sounds like a speed run. Let's do it. Uh, that's a deal. That's here we go. Deal. Here we go. 
All right, let's do this. You know, I'm listening to those two talk. They're repeating the same thing over again. But, you know what I mean? People don't want you to be nosy, want you to stay out of the conversation. But you just want to, you just fish for that attention sometimes. He knew what he was doing. Of course he did. Right? Ooh. What did he do? I've heard that like 20 times already, but uh, I'm working on a second build in here. I think I still gotta do the house, but uh, yeah, I'll be done pretty soon. Okay, I am done. I got all three of them done, and no fall damage. Gotta love games like this. Anyway, let's open up the door we don't need to and go see Connor. Go claim our trailer. Uh, grab my scaffolding back too, because yeah, it's mine. So is the trailer. Gee, that's too bad. All right, job done. Nice and clean, I see. Well, nope, looks like crap. Here's that something extra I promised you. I hope we'll be good neighbors. What do you give me? I hope so too. See you around. <sighs> Seems to be really fond of me, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. So, what did you give me? Give me something extra. Did you give me money? I have no idea. Anyway, so we have a trailer now. Got 1,500 social points, so... Uh, nah, I do have to pick this up. What else can we do here while we're, while we're at it? Uh, I can always pick that up later. Uh, hmm. Change of the past. Oh, yeah, we got to talk to, uh, about Lily's debt. I guess we'll go meet the mayor's wife. She's actually pretty close by, so I'll meet you there. Well, after driving over a mountain, I uh, finally made it. I uh, needless to say, the road's been like that the whole way. But yeah, uh, Lily, or Abigail, should be right down here. So let's see how this goes. And see what we come up with. Oh, handbrake. No, no we don't have a handbrake. Really? I don't know about it, so what are you talking about? Anyway. Keep it to himself. Got the city here. Hmm. I do it almost all the time. I bet you do. Okay, I am talking to Abigail. Mrs. So Abigail Louvarden? Yes. She doesn't look like she'd be holding a shovel right now. Uh should we lie or tell the truth? Well, I already know the answer, well, what the right way is, but honestly, I would have told the truth anyways. You shouldn't be lying to your wife anyways. But he was afraid to tell you. He'll be back tomorrow and just didn't want you to worry. I know, I know. I don't mind. I have no idea why he is hiding this passion of his for fishing. But you are an honest young man, and I appreciate you telling me the truth. Thank you. Here, take this. Ooh, more honey. Sweet. Okay, is that all I had to do? Really? This is interesting. Oh, I'm just gonna go back to the mayor. Okay, the mayor is all the way back down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast travel back there because I want to go pick up the trailer and bring the truck. Uh, pick up the tractor and bring the trailer back. So I'm gonna fast travel there and uh, well, I <laughs> just do this, hop in the truck and take off. If oh, it was like that in the real world, huh? Makes it so much easier. Uh, as much as I like to go off-roading down there, uh, I'd rather not. Uh, as far as I know, there's no actual way to restore vehicles in this game that I know of. And uh, hopefully I don't wanna have to fight out. So we're just gonna park this on in the middle of the street in the wrong, wrong lane and run down to the mayor. Let's see what he's got to say. Spoosh. Uh, okay, I know I can't hurt myself. When I was picking the mushrooms, I got uh, I had a, one of those big wild boars running towards me. I was like, you know, God, here I go. I'm gonna get mauled. That's okay. The mayor will save us. All right, no worries. You can fish all you want. Thank you. Now I can teach you something about fishing. But hey. You do need a fishing rod, you know. Go and see Jack at the store. Tell him I sent you, and he will give you one, free of charge. Thanks for your help. See you later. Now, hush. Don't scare them.
of fish. Too late. I already bought one. Anyway, uh, so what was that? New skill learned. Go to Jack to collect your reward. Reward for what? I have no idea. That's probably because I already done some fishing. Uh, actually, take the elevator. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. I forgot that it takes you out of map view when you transfer to a vehicle. Oh yeah, you're going to be a free restaurant. Welcome to my store. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. Here. He said you'd have something for me. Ah yes, Ryan is a good man. I can tell you, he helped me a lot in the past. Truth be told, I wouldn't have you standing here if you hadn't helped me. This is for you. I'm sure he'd like you to have this one. Light, strong, perfect for an aspiring fisherman. Thanks a lot. So that means I have uh, two fishing rods, I do believe. Yeah, two. I'm pretty sure I bought the first one. One with nature with this. Yeah. So it's foraging skill, too. Uh, lost treasure chests. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, so what are we up to here? Okay, we are done with the mayor. Uh, Aunt Grace. Where is Aunt Grace? Uh, where are you? Oh, you're right across the street. I should have known that actually. I'm just down here. I'll leave the truck there. Maybe somebody will be nice and tow it back to my house for me. But let's go see what Aunt Gracie's got to say. Actually, we we're talking about buying a forest. That's actually not too bad, but it's really about how many trees you can get out of it and how much you can sell, help sell it for. Actually, I gotta bring up the chainsaw to see this. 22 trees. Average three logs a tree, 66 logs, so it'd be 33 skids of planks after dry to be about 10 grand. But it's a matter of how long that's going to take, right? But we do have the wood chips, we do have the chipboard we can sell to our the, the bark and the wood chip crates we can sell. Anyway, Aunt Gracie, hello. Would you go and see Logan for me. I need you to give him this cake. Logan is the local forester. He is a good man, but sometimes he can be a bit grumpy. He lost his wife a couple years ago, but he's a good friend. Charles and I support him whenever we can. In return, he often helps us out as well. He's out in the forest somewhere. Eh, he's actually not that far. Uh, getting a little hungry? Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't eat his cake. Oh, let's have some honey. Why not? Okay, so I gotta go uh, find Logan. I'll be right back. Here we are, and there he is. So let's go see what he's got to say. Maybe he'll give us this nice, beautiful forest, huh? Maybe. Hush. What's allowed? What are you doing here? My Aunt Grace sent me to give you this. Grace is your aunt? Oh, I see. Thank you for the package. Grace is a great cook. Now off you go. I'm hunting here. What are you hunting? Poachers. They harm the animals. <laughs> hunting poachers. It's my job. I'm the really? only forest in these parts. Can I help you? All right, if you like. But you need to stay close and keep absolutely quiet. If you make a noise, okay, you got that? Away. Shh, be quiet. I'll send you packing straight away. Understood? Yeah. Follow me and keep low. Okay. So we just gotta. Follow him and not to get too close. So hopefully I don't get in trouble. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna follow him. Not exactly keeping a low profile there. Uh, running straight. This. I bet you I can beat you. Hurry up, old man. Nope. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, I don't know what he means. All right. Shh. I can see the tracks now. You want me to walk into you, don't you? Or run into you? Don't get much attention, do you? Probably not. Oh, 
Look out, poachers. He's coming to hunt you. So I gonna hunt them. Use a fishing rod. Bear traps. Do 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 do. Oh, this is boring. Ooh, hydro powers. Or hydro lines. I wonder if I can cut the t cut the towers down. Go cut the legs off the the towers with the chainsaw. Logan doesn't look too happy. This is taking forever. Come on, man. Did you like walk like me on a Friday? Do, 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 do. Should be there any moment. Maybe. Ooh, mushrooms. Screw you, Logan. I'm foraging. I wonder if I'll get in trouble if I pick a mushroom while I'm walking behind him. There, you see that? Yep, I do. Lots of mushrooms. And some strawberries. See that deer? Nice and easy now. What happened here? Caught in a trap. Thought so. Poachers. At least they use throw. Not those. Can you help me? I'll try to free him. I, I skipped that by mistake. I'm sorry. What do I do? Try to keep the deer calm. I was gonna say, why are poachers in a town like this? Why aren't they out like in the bush, like half a mile from a road, not just in the middle of a town? Okay, what do I gotta do? I was talking. Oh. Yeah, I think I saw an image of this on Steam. I don't think I actually have to do anything here. It's just a cutscene, I hope. I'm not touching anything in case I... I start listening and he mauls us with his horns. Oh, he's good. What, no extra special cinematic music for this? Alright, we've done it. Thanks for your help. Yes, we did it. I've never helped a real deer before. Stay Don't play the fake ones. And you'll get used to it. Now, I'll see if I can find some tracks. And you, off home with you now, lad. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my daddy. I have saved the deer. Did I get anything out of that? Uh, I gotta go back to Aunt Gracie, so I shall see you there. Uh, that's the name of the town. Pine Grove. Uh, I'll have to check and find out where this is, uh, actually is. Okay. What you doing, Aunt Gracie? You feeding the hay? Good for you. I've delivered your package to Logan. You were right. He's okay once you get to know him. Did he show you around the forest? Better than that, I helped him save a deer. That was something. Wow, that's great. I'm proud of you. Yay! Alright, so... I guess that's it. So, we have taken care and helped uh, that one out. So, I think one of the, one of the things I want to do next, like the last thing we'll do in this episode, is we're actually going to go pick up the uh, our trailer, which is all the way over there with the tractor and take our chips to the lumber products market and see what we get so uh, yeah I'll bring you back when I'm loaded up okay I'm back and uh, needless to say <laughs> the, the next thing I'm buying is a new tractor oh my god this thing is painfully slow going up the hill pulling this trail I was doing 10 kilometers a second or my hour 10 kilometers a second that'd be great um, but I just want to see how much this will hold. 4,200, that's it. Oh, that means we're going to have to do multiple trips. Oh. But I know the, the, I think the other trailer might hold more, like the one we can buy, but I have a feeling you can tandem them because I do see the, the hitch there. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to have to end up taking this over to the, the Lumber Products Market. I'm just going to call it the market from now on, because it's what it is, really. Uh, almost hit that. What I want to do, and I like this trailer, it's actually articulated. Uh, I think it's articulated, it's what it's called, where the 
the whole front set of wheels is a separate bogey that actually rotates. So it makes it easier for going around turns and stuff. But I want to check the planks here, see how they're doing. So yeah, about 10% a day. So another eight days or so till that's done. Anyway, I have a very, very, very long drive to the market. And I'll see you there. Have I mentioned recently how much I hate how slow this thing drives? We're almost there. But uh, it's kind of funny how you can actually unhitch the trailer while you're driving. I don't see the prompt now, but I, it did show up. But here we are. Uh, we are at the market. Driving slow. Very slow. With the platform truck, I was racing up here and actually hit the gate and it opened fast enough. <laughs> Uh, this thing, yeah. Maybe throw some nitro in the ga in the fuel tank. Maybe it'll move a little bit faster, or blow up. But anyway, so uh, this is definitely where we gotta drop it off. So we go over here, and so I currently have 3888, which reminds me I was gotta check on the plants too. So let's raise the trailer, and look at that money. Oh, nice. 58. So what, I got about 1,900 out of that. That wasn't bad. Alright, and then R to lower the trailer. Automatic, just one button press. So, that is done. I'm going to definitely take the rest of it on. Take another trip off camera. But one thing I want to do, and I'm going to actually fast travel to do this because I don't want to have to drive all the way back to end this episode. I just want to finish it now. <laughs> And that's just how it's going. Uh, I, we're going to fast travel over here. And we're going to go check on our zucchini. Because I've had to check them when I was over here. Check the water. Uh, it'd be nice if we could have some sort of automated watering system that had like a moisture sensor and plant beds or something. Well, don't see much. Probably all died already. And... You are not doing anything, and how are we doing? Yeah, see what I mean? It was dry. Can I actually adjust anything else here? No, I can't. It kind of sucks that we're wasting so much water to grow plants. Which kind of makes me realize I should have actually planted everything first. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is probably one of those things where you're going to have the entire greenhouse full to even make profit. Uh, we do have lots of stuff we can grow. We got pumpkins, we got tomatoes, we got zucchini, but we don't have many. I think this is all we have. I don't know if we can actually uh, get our own seedlings or or what, but anyways, I think this is a good place uh, to end the episode. We got some stuff done. We got ourselves a free trailer. We uh, dealt with the mayor. We dealt with uh, Lily. Uh, we still have to deal with James. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with him yet. Uh, maybe we'll put it to a vote. Do we help James out? Do we help him build his houses? And if we do, do we buy the planks? Or do we actually sacrifice our own trees to do his work for him? I don't know. We'll find out. I might get some uh, beehives going pretty soon here too. Oh! Oh, look at that. A free log. Cool. Uh, I love that engineer site. Probably should get some beehives going too, but uh, with that, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Let's have a beard end of the day. Yes. Hey.